All right, what's going on, guys? Zoan here. Uh, we are going on to the next mission in the Legendary Vegeta event that just dropped on Global Dokkan. Uh, this one being the Other World Warriors category. This one is also very tricky. Uh, like the Worthy Rivals category, uh, very limited options. Uh, you know, kind of a straightforward team build, but uh, a very RNG based run. A lot of dodging going on. Uh, you need super attack luck to be in your favor. But. Let's not waste any time. Let's get over to the wiki. The drill is going to be the same for all seven of the missions today, and all the videos are going to be going up at the same time, so let's not waste any time and hop over to the wiki. Okay, so now we are over on the quickest team building guide that we're going to have of this whole bunch over on the wiki. Um, this category in specific has is probably the smallest category among, among, among all of them. Like, you can see here, look how tiny this category is. <laughs> um... Let's not waste any time. There is a pretty optimal build for this one in specific. Um, I kind of found myself struggling a little bit with this one as well. Uh, I ran the Frieza as the leader, or physical Frieza as my leader. I ran the Int Goku. Obviously, I brought Tech Gogeta. Uh, a strategy that you can do, I think I do in my main run, is I run two Tech Gogetas as the other leader and have like a Saiyan base team. So. There's two options here, okay? We're going to, there's a team build that focuses on the Super Saiyans and the Fusions, and there's a team build that focuses on the Extreme Class, so. I know that sounds pretty like, well, no shit, but. What I think, what's easy to, un, like, easy to miss is that <laughs> sometimes you can combine the two and do like, you know, an Extreme Rotation, a Super Rotation, and the Floaters. Because you can see the Extreme options, like, you can only make a team with what we've got right here, right? So. Let's see, I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven units here, right? I think that's my, if my math is right. So, at least in TURs. So, there's not many options at all. But since there's so many, like, so few options here, uh, you'll just, the only, I'm not going to do, like, alternate builds here. I'm just going to kind of show you the one that I used for the beginning of the gameplay. And we're just going to go with that one. But I'm going to quickly overview each one. And we'll just kind of, I'll just kind of take each unit, tell you if you can bring them, if you can't bring them, and why you should or should not. So Frieza, infinite defense stacking, pretty straightforward, self-explanatory. Uh, Int Super Saiyan 2 Goku, once he transforms, he gets an evasion and also raises his defense on super. So after he does his supers, he is pretty stout defensively, especially at the rainbow level. At 55%, almost any unit can be suspect. Um, you know, great, you know, overall, if we're talking other World Warriors team, it's either your S or your F. There's really no A, B, C, or D here. Uh, Tech Gogeta, must bring if you have them. Not much else to say. They just they do everything right here in this case. Especially with items, you're going to have no trouble. Uh, Physical Vegeta, he's kind of... He, if there was to be an in-the-middle unit, it's him. Um, good active skill, easy to bring because there's a lot of Angel Gokus around and Busaga Gokus here. Uh, Physical Gogeta, really good unit because they have high defensive numbers. And they also have a free item with their fusion after six turns if their HP is under 50% or below. Pycon has that Ghost Usher, super class support, um, evasion if with a rainbow orb. He's solid. Uh, Veku and Grandpa Gohan, no, don't even think about it. Uh, AGL, Super Saiyan 2, Angel Goku, I would bring. His healing, his orb changing, his attack with orb. Um, real good. Angel, Super Saiyan 3, Vegeta, or Goku, I do not have. God knows how. Um... His EZA is solid, but uh, I don't have him. But you know, you can get away with bringing that unit. Tech Pycon, haven't taken a look, taken a look at his EZA. Uh, maybe he's runnable. I'd have to take a look. Um, no, <laughs> no. No, I don't see enough here to say like, oh wow, yeah, you got to bring him. Uh, the same thing goes for Int Pycon. In Gogeta, I'd recommend with the Rainbow Orb. With the Rainbow Orb mechanics that he has, he is solid. STR Super Saiyan 2 Goku, no. STR Pycon, no. STR Gogeta, hell no. And then the rest is just TURs of the other boys. Uh, TUR right here, don't bring him. Uh, Angel, LR, Goku, and Vegeta, we already talked about them. Uh, Super Saiyan Kaioken, Goku. In line for an easy A at some point, but right now, just not reusable in here. Um, that's really about it. For the extreme class, these two units that awaken with the Golden Frieza celebration that we had on JP with the Angel Golden Frieza, and they're solid options, but you have to focus the team around the extreme class units, obviously, which there's not many, so it's just like a straightforward build. 
what you see is the team you'd be rocking with. I don't need to go into Dokkan and show you how to put that together. Um, that's about it for the Otherworld Warriors team. Uh, that's like What makes this one tricky and specific is that there really is only one setup for it. So it's either you have the units or you don't. And items can only save you so much, especially when you only get two. It's just it's always going to be tricky. So I wish you the best of luck with this one. The run took a while for me, but you know, you will see the team that I used and the way I was able to get it done. So hopefully, you know, you can bring uh, a team similar to that and get the job done. I think even with the best possible build, it's going to take some RNG, and you really do need the whole team rainbowed and as much luck as you can get to even consider a no-item run, as I could not even think about doing it. So. Um, we're gonna hop into Dokkan. I'm gonna show you the gameplay and my successful run if you want to stick around and watch that and see how lucky I do end up getting to beat this. And uh, that's everything for now. Let's hop over to Dokkan. Okay, so we are now on to the Other World Warriors run. Uh, this one again is going to be a little bit sped up like the Worthy Rivals one as the gameplay is like 25 minutes and I don't want to have you sitting here for 25 minutes. So, what we're going to be doing here is speeding it up as I said. Uh, the strategy that we're going for is uh, Stack Frieza up as much as we can. Uh, use AGL Angel Goku for healing. Uh, Tech Gogeta is going to dominate throughout the event. And Int Gogeta is going to need his Rainbow Orb so that he can dodge. So that is the overall strategy that we are going for. Uh, not too bad. You know, I mean, it's it's one of those runs that's just super RNG heavy, unfortunately. Like, you, you, um, you try and counter it. You can do as much as you can. But at, at the end of the day, there's only so much you can do in terms of... Uh, getting it done quickly and effectively so you see here uh you know i'm playing around for rotations trying to figure out what i want to do and you know ultimately we do end up getting the win so we don't have to come back and do this one again but i do think that this is one that global players when you watch this you're going to find that it's going to be quite the struggle so uh, i'm gonna wish you luck right now <laughs> this one's tough uh there's no need for alternate builds because i feel like you know there's only like one or two so you got to work with what you got. There's this. There's not a plethora of different options to put together and you know dominate this event. You just got to get lucky, really. Um, you see here, we're we're just trying to take advantage of AGL Goku, like get that healing going, stack Frieza up, you know, play. You just don't play with fire, right? Like get him as stout defensively as we can, and then once we get to the later phases, we can make sure that we do get it done. So. Um, the hardest phases in this one, I think, are going to be Ink God Vegeta, as we do have Tech Gogeta. Um, the Physical God phase is tough because we have two Ink enemies, or two Ink allies being Super Saiyan 2 Goku and Ink Gogeta. So, you can just kind of see that there is no rotations here. It's just kind of play each rotation the best you can play it and hope that you don't die. Like, I'm not really doing too much thought into like what I need to do for my, um, like, that's what I'm looking like. There's really no set in stone rotations other than just keeping Frieza around to stack him up because he's the stacker of the group. And uh, try and save the Tech Gogeta fusions for as late as possible. That way we can uh, assure that we don't have any. Uh, we can scout the super attacks towards the end. So, like, I'll use one and then wait to use the next one a little bit later. So that way we can. Uh, like, just you want to be able to scout super attacks at the end. If you could scout super attacks, you obviously you want to take advantage of that. So, uh, not really too much to think about in that in that regard just kind of play each rotation the best that we can don't uh just don't fuck it up that's about that's basically where like we're at we're like you gotta to do a run like this where the team is so small you gotta have a perfect run right like maybe maybe a, a small mistake here and there but any big mistake is likely going to result in you losing so that's where you gotta be you know you gotta play it safe take your time don't try and just burn through it because when you like you got to consider when you have stacking units like this you don't want them to run into the last few phases with 150k defense you're gonna need more than that um it really is just tough so again uh here we don't have too much to worry about because what we're banking on is that agl goku in the third slot is not going to end up taking damage by the time that we're finished as we have a super effective against all types right there then the additional you know two million attacks that we're going to be getting from goku and vegeta and that's ultimately going to finish him off so we didn't need to heal we didn't need to do any of that fun stuff we're all set to go um, right here, is, again, is where things can kind of get a little messy. Um, this is where the type disadvantage portion starts to kick in and things get a little trickier. So, Frieza taking a super attack will likely lead into a lot of damage because he is not, he is nowhere near invulnerable at this point. Um, Ain't Goku, he's Super Saiyan 3, so he has a chance to dodge across the board, so, until the end, obviously. So, we don't have anything to worry about there. Um, 
protect Gogeta. You always just want to make sure he supers first, but in the worst case scenario, they can take a super attack, so we don't have too much to worry about there. Um, I don't remember when we use our first item. I don't. I feel like one of these runs we use one really early, like in the Ink God phase, but I'm not sure. So I guess we'll find out when we get there. Um, let's see. Like I, like I recorded all these a few days ago. I've been uh, like. I wanted to make sure I had all the recordings out, and then I did all my team building guides, and now I'm coming back and doing the recordings for all the gameplay, because I want to upload these all at once, so <laughs> we're, we're really getting through it. Um, having a good time, though. I'm enjoying this, so I'm definitely ready to go. So let's see. Yeah, there's, um, I mean, you like, the, the general idea of this run is pretty simple, like, just... Like, you're right here, right? Like, we're just trying to make sure... We're trying to get a dodge from Gogeta. I, I forget if we get... We, yeah, there it is. So, <laughs> the Rainbow Orb came in clutch, and we got the dodge on the last possible one. Not the most ideal setup that we could have had, but you got to work with what you got, right? So, right here, uh, no super for Frieza, but we're, the, the bet is that uh, Gogeta is going to be able to finish them up by the time that it, we even get to that point. So, nothing to worry about there. Yeah, boom, and then that finishes them off. Perfect. Okay, so we're almost into the. So now we're in. We've we've the training wheels are off, right? Like we're into the tough stuff. Like this is where you got to start taking risks. So right here, we do that, right? It's like Goku's gonna dodge, Gogeta's gonna dodge, and then Tech Gogeta is going to triple super. Like that's that's the mindset I have at this point, right? Like <laughs> that's that's how you got to think about it. You got to think, you got to think best possible scenario. You play it like the best possible scenario is gonna like play out. So in this case, Gogeta and Go or Goku didn't dodge, took 70k. We can heal that up from the Dokkan attack, so there's not too much to worry about in that facet. Um, and then you go, we got the we got the double digits, and he does not dodge. So <laughs> at this point, I'm thinking, can we just make it out of this turn? That's about where we're at, right? So I mean, we got no luck, and we just survived by the skin of our teeth. <laughs> so. You can kind of see the strategy we're going for is definitely a dangerous one. Like, we made it out of there with no HP, and we brought this physical Go Gogeta for this very reason. So now we have nothing to worry about with type disadvantage for him. He's super effective against all types for the rest of the fight, I'm pretty sure. So, you know, Frieza, let go ahead, let him build up a little bit. Let Tech Gogeta get going with his super attacks. He's not taking any damage right here, and then ultimately physical Gogeta will probably finish the job up. So that's, like I said, that's where we're at with this one. So boom. Boom. Yeah, keep going. <laughs> yeah, so no damage taken there. And then we're hoping for a double super. Um, just so we can get out of here. And we do get it. And then we're going to get another one with, uh, or not another double super, but we're going to get another attack with the physical Gogeta, who is type advantage in this case. So type, uh, super effective against all types, not the end of the world. And we do end up getting the kill. So, okay. So in this specific case, we do end up doing an app kill. So I had to kind of re-go back and do this because we're thinking like, oh, I need to get the, uh, the dodge with Goku, right? That's you. So you see, I cut right there. I'm like, oh shit. Like we have to get the, I need our dodge with Gogeta. So like, this is again where things get really tricky. Like, um, just tough overall. Like <laughs> we're, it's the, this phase in specific is really a doozy just with all the type disadvantage we're at. So we're taking hundred K at normal. And again, we're just banking on the dodging right here. And that's risky for the biscuit mode from this point out. So, uh, you know, this is, it's, um, yeah, right there was GG. So that's where, um, <laughs> that's, that's why we did what we did. We went back, tried to get the dodge and ended up paying off. So again, just a really bad turn. I'm like, we definitely pop. We gotta pop an eight right here, right? Yeah, get the defense back up. I do we fuse on this turn? Yeah, we do fuse with one of them. Okay, so yeah, we just did that to scout the super attack out. Um, just you, know, you gotta you try and keep an eye on it if you can. So we end up doing that, uh, trying to avoid taking as much damage as we can to the next phase, and that app kill um, ultimately ended up saving us because you know Gogeta did end up dodging an attack, so that probably did save us in the end. This this one's just a doozy, man. Like, it's tough. It's tough. Um, I can definitely see how this one's going. In my opinion, this one's going to be the one that people are like, okay, how the hell do I do this? Like, this is the one you need to watch a YouTube video for. So, that's why I'm doing this one. I'm getting this one out of the way early. I uh, just want to make sure that everybody sees what you got to do. Um, try and stay on top of it. All that fun stuff. 
So right here, I don't know how much this is gonna t this is gonna hit us for. 100k, not bad. Oh the, yeah, so Premiere Pro is doing this thing it likes to do where, uh, like I'm doing my recording and then the video is getting all choppy. So let me go ahead and fix that real quick. You're not gonna notice anything. I'm just gonna stop the the voice recording and the video is gonna keep playing. I'll be right back. Okay, so back to it. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. We just, you know, sometimes Premiere Pro likes to do that where it's just like, no, you're not recording this anymore. Or like, the video gets real choppy, so I can't tell you what's going on. Um, just continuing the strategy of just relying on dodging. Like, it, it really is tough to rely on the dodging as it's just, it's just a chance, right? Like, it's not like the UI Goku setup that we usually would have where it's like, okay, he's probably going to dodge. But this one, but you got to roll with the play. You got to play the hand you're dealt. So that's what we're doing. Uh, we're gonna make sure that we get all these AGL orbs for uh, Goku. We're gonna get our healing. His defense will be fine. Uh, he'll raise on super. He'll he'll be just fine. We're not worried about him at this point. Like you know, he's he really is a pretty valuable unit for one that has been easy aid for quite a while now. So if you can bring him, I'd say definitely do that. But uh, I wouldn't say he's like a Z tier option, but he's like a high B, low A option. But this team, I say it in the team building guide, there really is no. Uh, like, it's either you can be brought here or you can't. I really don't feel like there's a, a risk that you run. Like, it's like, oh, you might be able to bring this guy. But I feel like every single one is like, yeah, you can bring him or no, you can't bring him. Uh, there's no uh, maybe. <laughs> like, it's just this category. The bad part of this category is bad. Like, really bad. So just keep that in mind when you're doing this one in specific. But it's going to definitely be a tricky one. This one's a gauntlet. Uh, it was tough for me tough as word like worthy rivals was tough too uh these two like the first ones i'm uploading were the ones i had the most trouble with so thankfully we're getting those ones out of the way so we can move on to the easier stuff that's a little bit more fun and there's more uh kind of variety in the teams and all that good stuff but these are also the ones that i think that people are going to be wanting to see the most so we got to make sure that we get them done and out of the way um you see here we're i'm electing to not fuse yet um because we're just kind of i'm relying on healing stuff like that we do pop a weiss because we are now into, I, I, somehow I didn't even notice that we transitioned over to the last phase. So yeah, now we can afford to use items whenever we want. Um, now we're at, especially considering we're at that type advantage with Tech Gogeta, that is where things really start to sp uh, rev up a little bit. Like that, we're like, okay, we're safe now. We got through the gauntlet of always being at type disadvantage every turn with Goku and Gogeta. Now we can kind of just sit back a little bit and let the the team do its thing. Um, I, 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 it's tough to see like what defense is at. Like I'm stopping and like you'll see in the recording that I'm stopping and checking from time to time. But like you know when I'm trying to speed up the gameplay like this, I don't think there's really, really any reason to slow it down just so you can see what the defensive stats are. You do know if they're infinitely stacking, they're gonna have a lot at this point. So no super attack here. Got real lucky. Um, yeah, so we throw Goku in that spot just because he's taking less attacks, so we can let Gogeta tank a little bit more than uh, Goku would. That's the uh, thought process there. Um, Gogeta is just going to go ahead and do his thing here. Like, Tech Gogeta dominates and runs through this one. So, like, this one is definitely one of those stages where you just, if you can get to this point and you're all set to go, it shouldn't be too bad. But it's just getting to this point is tough. Like, it really is. Because you just get unlucky. You take a super in the blue phase with Gogeta, or you take a super in the blue phase with Super Saiyan 3 Goku, or you take one with uh, Tech with uh, Tech Gogeta before he supers in the, in the int phase when he's at God and stuff like that. Uh, also, let it be known that uh, <laughs> the one hit on Angel Goku was a super. So all I had to do was throw Gogeta in that second slot, and we were good. Um, yeah, so right here, we get the fusion out so we can find the super attack. We leave Frieza in slot three and go ahead and go to work on Gogeta right here. We check defense. Gogeta's at 220k. Frieza, I didn't get a look at it. It moved really quickly. Uh, should be at 400, 300, 400 range at this point. Just he's been doing a lot of supers almost every turn, so we don't have much to worry about in that regard. Uh, you'll see that we're, I think so. We got three minutes left, right? So we probably have three or four turns left. Uh, just going slow, making sure we get it done, getting that super effective against all types going, all that fun stuff. Um, so Frieza, yeah, like so Frieza's not here for damage at all. Like I'm sure you figure that out at this point, but. It just defensively, he's a wall once we get to this point. So, like, really, especially, like, with the Weiss or Nate active, we have nothing to worry about. Uh, right here, we probably pop another Weiss. Uh, I wonder who we throw in that. Yeah, so we put Goku in that spot. And if we're going to do that, we have to make sure he supers, which we do end up doing. Yeah, so we're good on this turn. We're not going to die right here. Um, and then, so Premiere Pro went a little bit choppy again. Let's, uh... <laughs> my computer's giving me all kinds of trouble. So let's just go ahead and let this one play out a little bit. We do end up getting the uh, 12 key animation for Gogeta, which is different. 
Okay, so we should be all set now. We can go ahead and get through with this, the uh, end of the run. We're coming up on the last few turns here. Um, Angel Goku, like, you see, he does his thing in here, right? Like, he's not usually, like, he's not, like, the reason that we die in any specific turn or anything like that. Like, he does do a good job, so. I do think that this is the second to last turn. Excuse me, we do have one more after this. Then, once we get through all that fun stuff, we're all set to go, so. Um... Gogeta, like, so, you just, like, I mean, this this run, like I said, the team that you're looking for is pretty self-explanatory, right? Like, you just want to kind of load it up with Gogeta's. Don't bring the STR one. He is, um, I don't really know any adjective that I could come up with off the top of my head would do it justice to say what he's going to do in this stage, um, or to how he's going to look, especially in this portion. So, let's just say he's not going to tank. We'll, we'll just leave it at that, but, you know, there, it, that's kind of an understatement. Whoa, whoa, that's kind of an understatement. Um, he really is going to, <laughs> to take quite a bit of damage. So, uh, we do, what I'm kind of hoping for right here is that we do get the Gogeta win screen. That is the objective, just to kind of cap off a fun run here. Um, I don't remember if we get it or not. Oh yeah, it's the Dokkan attack. We definitely get it. So, um, like I said, this was the, um, the other World Warrior stage. Uh, this one's tricky. Um, getting it out of the way is definitely something I'm glad that I did. So this is the second run. We still got five more to go. We got Attained Evolution. Uh, I don't know what the category is yet on Global Watch, but it might be the same. But uh, Attained Evolution, Gifted Warriors. Um, what else do we have? Uh, siblings Bond. Uh, we did Birdly Rivals. Join Forces. And then there's one more. I'm forgetting it off the top of my head, but um, you'll see it. So that's everything. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'm out.